Well, Lewis, a very warm welcome to Blackburn Rovers. How does it feel to have joined this football club? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm very, very happy. I mean, it's, um, I just can't wait to be back on the field. Um, it's like yeah, turning time again, coming back to England. Um, I turned 29 today, so basically I'm a bit older than back then. Um, I'm just happy, happy to get a new challenge. I think this is a very warm club. Uh, the people I've got to know here, uh, starting from the chairman, the gaffer, you know, the whole club, it works very close together and they have ambitions to go back where they, where they used to play. Um, and this year, or for, for me from now on, is to show my best football that I can do, try to improve um, the team, try to improve myself and um, yeah, hopefully we can get going on a very positive, uh, positive time together. You mentioned a return to England. Did you always want to come back here and play here again? That is probably why it took so long for me to take a decision. I mean, I've been five years after I, I've played here uh, at Hamburg, uh, a very, a very uh, intensive time. Um, and after that time, you, you need to figure out, okay, what kind of personality are you? What, what are you? What are you looking? You, you, you're turning 29. You're going on your thirties. Um, what do you really want to want to do? And for me, the Premier League, obviously because I'm come half English, it was always attractive. And um, playing now in the championship is for me a very new, exciting challenge. Um, I think it's going to be tough, challenging, and uh, very valuable for my experience. But I'm, uh, I'm really seeking for that time. I'm, I really, I've got a good feeling that this could link very well and uh, the values of the club and mine, they seem, uh, seem to cope really good together. I mean, I love football. I love uh, football since, since I first kicked from the ball and it, it doesn't stop till I probably be under the ground um, and for, that's for me the main thing. The main thing is how, how can I produce or how can I be the most happiest and that is while playing on a good level, playing football in front of people who love football as well and I think Ewood Park is a ground that, um, that has been some historical moments in football, some fans, diehard fans, they still come there and um, now it's time for us to get that ground going again and to kind of fill, it, fill the seats again and uh, be a successful football club. You mentioned the history of this football club, you'd have been about a young age watching this team or the team back then winning the Premier League in 95? Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, everyone knows that um, Blackburn, that they, in that time, won the, won the Premier League 95 um, with a super partnership, <laughs> like I mentioned before, Shearer and Sutton and other players um, going through the lengths of, yeah, Brad Friedel I played with at Tottenham. Um, then I remember two guy dominating midfield, and a few a few other players, a lot of players. Um, David Dunn, obviously, he was a local lad. Um, this club has history, and I think um, the team has showed that they, in the last couple of games, that they stabilised themselves. And uh, I hope I can cope and 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 catch fitness and um, you know the link up play quickly and as soon as possible, so that I um, I can help the team maybe with my experience. Uh, my qualities and the team can help me to adapt to, to the championship. You know your stuff, don't you, about English football? Have you always been, from an early age, a, a huge fan of this, the game in this country? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to say anything. I mean, this is the motherland of, of football. This is where it comes from. And I was fortunate enough, thank you Nana, that she gave us Sky, Sky Sports and we always watched the games and uh, obviously match of the day and everything so I know English football quite well I was uh, very fortunate enough that I had the chance to play in the Premier League before but now um, it's a new chapter uh, I feel ready for it um, I feel like a little boy you know shaking with his legs can't wait for, for a Sunday game to come and that's how I feel um, I might turn 29 today but I still feel like a 19 year old How different a person are you now from the one that came over and played in this country a few years ago? I think I've, I've grown up slightly more, I have uh, more experience, I have more games under my belt, I've witnessed more things, positive and negative things. Um, I think you can, I can judge better situations, uh, maybe have a bit more, how you say, calmness in, in things, but still have that drive. I still have that drive to do something, to create something on the field, to get better. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just want to win games on the field and that's what it's all about. We have a lot of games. I love games and so it probably will suit very well. Is that one of the things that appeals to you about this club, the challenge that lies ahead? Because everybody around here wants to be back in the Premier League. 
Yeah, I think that's that's one of the, the talks that I had with the uh, the officials, obviously with the gaffer, with his uh, coaching staff, and everyone involved in his football club. Um, since they returned back to the championship, um, this club is seeking to 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 conquer more, to 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 win more, to achieve more, and I, I want to be part of that. I mean, we, we had really good talks. We were very on a very good level, and I think uh, now it's down to put it on the field, let the feet talk. And um, yeah, just link up as quick as possible. You've got a sense of the manager's ambition. He's a passionate person, Tony Mowbray, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's one one. He's a he's a very passionate person, but he's a very I think an honest person. I think he's he's got a very uh, big heart. Um, I think he when he talks, he he means it, and he loves football. He loves talking about football. And uh, we had conversations that we, we couldn't stop. But at some point, uh, you know, you have to catch your flight as well. <laughs> so basically, we were on a very good level. And now it's on that his ideas, um, I need to cope very quick the way they want to play football. This football club wants to play football. And like I said, the link up has to be quick and has to be smooth. And uh, hopefully we can see that uh, in near, near, near time so that we can uh, play some very good football, attract people to come to watch our games and especially to move up the table. To catch a flight or to catch a ferry, <laughs> as you did. And do you know the sort of how excited the Blackburn fans have been because they have got wind of this and have followed your, literally your journey across <laughs> over to England? Have you got a sense of that? I've, I've definitely noticed that, yeah. After, um, yeah I mean, I've, I like to do a bit of a mystery or a bit of fun. Uh, I mean, social media. Um, a lot of people always uh, get into negative things, but sometimes you just got to do a little riddle. And um, there were some talks going on about me maybe joining here. I didn't want to mention it. I just wanted to produce my journey and maybe let people be interested in what's going to happen. So uh, now I sit here and we can start a, br a bright future. That must be nice, though, to get a sense of the fans being excited about your arrival and what you could bring to this team. Yeah, it's always nice. I mean, it's always good to have a, a good reception that people want you here at the football club at a historical and uh, yeah a football club with with yeah with, with a lot of passion um, with people striving for for football for good football and it's always nice now it's my turn like I said to let the feet talk to put the work in and to show it week in week out on the field for those Blackburn fans who haven't seen you play how would you describe yourself I think I'm. Um, I just when I, when I enter the pitch, I just try to put everything out there. I mean, um, I can run much. I can uh, go back back and forth. So I'm a, probably a bit of a box to box player. I think I might be decent on the ball, but like, like I said, um, the feet needs to need to talk. I can tell you, I, can, I play like Ronaldinho, and then I <laughs> go out there and play like I don't know Sunday League without respect. <laughs> yeah, with, with all respect to every Sunday League player, but I mean. Let the feet talk, need to work. I mean, it's the first day here um, when training starts. I need to push myself, uh, get on that fitness level, um, show, show passion in football and just try and link up as quick as possible with my teammates and uh, fit in. How fit are you? Like, having not played for a little while, how, how close are you to being able to actually get out there and play a game, do you feel? Just on a, a running test, and I'm, uh, I did quite well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, um, I've done a lot. I'm, I've trained with um, uh, a manager in Germany um, who used to train me. Uh, I used to, uh, I did some training with them as well, uh, week in, week out. Uh, I, I trained personally with a with a fitness coach. I did my runs. So um, for me personally, is like I said, I want to I want to thrive for something more. I want to learn more. I want to be better, and that's for me to be um, be in a physical good shape um, and be footbally football wise ready for for the next challenge the next challenge is here now so i think i'm in good shape but um you know how it is team training get to know people do a few extra things so that on saturday when the when the referee kicks it off you need to be ready have you done much research into the current group of players do you know anything about many of them i did yeah actually i do it I, as soon as uh, I, might, I might be joining a new team or whatever I google everything I go on Instagram check out everybody and uh, yeah it seems to be a very nice bunch of lads there um, 
so it's going to be going to be interesting how the next couple of days are going to be. But I think uh, I always love the English banter. I love, I love the English banter, especially in the dressing room. And I think we we might have some plenty plenty to come here. I'll give you a bit of a heads up, Bradley Duck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, he's probably he's he's a Cockney. He's he's probably he's from London, and uh, he probably have a, a few good jokes on him. He's a he's a fine footballer, as far as I could see. Um, maybe we will link up well in, in midfield. That would be something nice. Um, yeah, we we'll just wait and see. Um, need to get to know the people that they need to get to know me, and then maybe we can have some fun and, and have some uh, nice moments after winning games. You know, I've got a feeling you and him might get on quite well. Getting yeah. to know your your sense of humour, your personality, just from these couple of minutes. You seem genuinely excited, though. That's what's come across more than anything. Just speaking to you, know, how you, how excited you are to be here and just wanting to get started and play for this football club yeah absolutely I just want to play football again train come in here day in day out you know be with the lads like I said dressing room the banter um, the moments on the pitch uh, the good moments the bad moments experience uh, help each other uh, I just love football I hope that uh, my career never ends but um, I just cherish every moment and this moment right now coming back to England playing for a for a very historical club like uh, Blackburn Rovers is, is fantastic. So I'm over the moon, I'm happy, and now I have to get to work. Good luck. Welcome to the club again. Thank you very much. Thank you.